Hey guys, welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Blind. Oh my gosh, after the last one, <laughs> are you guys ready for a reprise? I hope we get a minute to breathe. I can't believe we're still going with this. I guess we're doing more evidence gathering today? I have no idea what's happening. What's wrong, girl? What was Mr. Edgeworth talking about? All right, this. He kind of dropped the bomb on us at the end of the last one, and I still don't know what to make of it. And I I'm... I'm feeling that we're going to hear about this, but at the same time, I don't want to assume too much. A memory of a crime that he committed. A memory of murder. Something tells me we're going to learn more about that later. Do you really think Mr. Edgeworth killed? I don't know. I don't believe it. Not Edgeworth. Some painful memory has been troubling him recently. But he'd never take someone's life. Never. I want to believe that too. Nick. Whoa, whoa, oh, Larry, I was having a moment and you ruined it. Jeez, stop this. Yo, how's everyone doing? I mean, I guess we have to be nice to him after he saved our ass in the last one. Or should I say, saved our butts. What do you think of my performance today? Oh my God, how can you not like Larry when he looks like that? Like the little lucky cat. <laughs> He's so cute. I had him swooning in the aisles, huh, Maya? Uh, swooning? Me? Oh, oh, uh, uh, yes, I do remember feeling faint. Right on! Tell me the truth, it was like love at first sight, right? What happened to Beyonce? Are you guys broken up already? Right, Nick? Don't ask me that. Lair, I'm not into you. I, my heart is... is... for someone else. Someone more frilly. <laughs> I, uh, well, maybe my heart skipped a beat or two. Yeah, because we were having a heart attack <laughs> in the fucking courtroom. It was so crazy. I think you can do better than that. Come on, I saved Edgeworth in there, dude. Edgy. You guys should be bowing before me, yeah! Bow before your hero. All right, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> what are you doing with your life? All right, let's talk to Larry about some things, I guess. Larry, you really helped out in the trial today. You did. If you weren't there, Larry, I'm sure Mr. Edgeworth would have been found guilty. Ha 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 But seriously, Nick, that boat shop caretaker guy is pretty suspicious. I know. Holy crap, such a turn happened. But Edgy ain't off the hook yet. No, he sure isn't. Way to spoil the mood, Larry. Hey, I'm just a guy sitting in the audience, you know? But from where I was sitting, Edgy seemed pretty edgy. I mean, can you really know he's telling the truth about that night? I believe him. Do we have a reason not to? I don't think we do. Nick? I don't know. Aw, oh, Phoenix, don't doubt him now. We've come so far. But what I do know is, I'm going to believe in you two until the end. Aw, this is a lovely moment. Us two? Edgeworth, and, and who else? You mean me, right? Nah, he means me. Right, Nick? Yeah, you, Larry. Not, not me? Oh no, Phoenix, don't make her cry. But why you, Larry? Huh? Uh, actually, yeah. Why me, Nick? What? <laughs> what? Huh, enough with the silent treatment. Don't- Oh, don't cry. Everyone, everyone calm- Oh my goodness, this is- this is nuts. Nick, why do you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I mean, they were friends, right? I mean, he's changed recently, true. But when we first met him, he was kind of a jerk, don't you think? No, I think he was just one of those stoic hard asses. Everybody knows one of those guys. You didn't know him back then. Back when he wanted to become a defense attorney. He did? Tell me about that. Wait. Was that when you two were classmates? Yes, in grade school. <gasps> What's this music? Oh God. They saved me, Miles and Larry. They saved me and I'll never forget it. What do you mean? That's why I became a defense attorney, you know. What? Hey, hey, Larry, what's he talking about? Huh? Uh, 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 uh sorry, I kind of forgot. What? Oh, man. Well, I wanted to hear about it. Okay, Nick, out with it. I'm going to hear the story today, and that's final. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's kind of a long story, so hang in there. Oh, I'm ready. Sit down. Everyone get your popcorn. Get your blanket. It was the beginning of spring, fourth grade. I was on trial. A class trial. A class trial? Tell me about this. 
You remember, Larry? Spring, fourth grade? A kid in my class got his lunch money stolen. Lunch money? Our school was really small. Every month, kids would bring in an envelope with money for lunch from home. Huh, I see. Anyway, this kid's envelope disappeared with $38 still inside. Uh-oh, that's a lot to a child. Oh, yeah, now that you mention it, I do remember that. I can see why you'd forget, though. You were out of school that day. Anyway, the envelope had been stolen during P.E. class. I was coming down with a cold, so I'd skip P.E. that day. I was the only one not in class. So, they thought you did it? Yeah, the kids in class said I should be put on trial. Trial? So the next day, we held a classroom trial with me as the defendant. Do we get to see- Ah! Aw, look! Uh, I didn't do it! Guilty! He did it! Guilty! It was you! Thief! Give me my money back! You're such a meanie! No one play with him! Just admit you did it! You can't hide the truth! Tell us the truth! We're not gonna play with you anymore! Oh my gosh, kids are so mean! Oh my god! Jeez! Now, Phoenix, you know you shouldn't steal people's money. It's not right. In the end, even the teacher thought I'd done it. Apologize to the class, Phoenix. Oh no, look at little Phoenix! Oh, isn't he darling? I, I didn't know what was happening. I was so sad, I couldn't stop crying. Everyone was staring at me like I'd done it. Oh my gosh, I just want to hug him! I tried to apologize, I went over to where the boy was sitting. That's when it happened. What, really? He shouldn't have to apologize. The only thing that belongs in a trial is evidence. Anything else has no place. You should all be ashamed, amateurs. Miles? I knew it was him. Look at him, he's wearing look, a little suit. In the fourth grade, he's wearing a bow tie. It wasn't you who stole my money, was it? No. Then you shouldn't apologize. It was Edgeworth's money that got stole? Everyone's been shouting, you did it, but no one has any proof. That is why, Your Honor, this boy is innocent. But Miles, it was your money that was stolen. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, he did it. He's the one. We don't need proof. Make him say sorry. Why don't you all just shut up? Is that Larry? Oh my god, look at him. Does he have no pants on? Oh wait, no, he does. <laughs> I just saw them <laughs> with- I looked too quickly. If you look really quickly, I'm sorry. It kind of looks like he has no pants. This is always how it is. Everyone ganging up, picking on one person. Just think how he feels. He said he didn't do it, so he didn't do it. Oh, what cute kids. Ah. Oh. Very well. I will replace the money myself. This class trial is over. Did they ever find out who did it? That's how it happened. After that, the three of us were always friends. That's so sweet. Wow, I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea either. <laughs> I mean, I forgot. God damn it. That's when I learned what, ha what it meant to be alone. Aw, oh, Phoenix. Totally alone without a friend in the world. You did a good thing, Larry. Uh, yeah, well, I was just lucky that I took the day off from school. If I had been there, they would have thought I'd done it. So I took it kind of personally, see? <laughs> Aw, Larry gets blamed for everything. Poor thing. Anyway, Edgeworth and I talked after that class trial. That's when I heard his father was a defense attorney. I remember, his eyes would shine when he talked about his father. Oh, that's so cute. This is so heartwarming. Look at little Edgeworth, he's so adorable. I'm going to become a defense attorney just like my dad. A famous defense attorney. Ah, uh, I love him. Then a few months later, he suddenly transferred to another school. Was it because of the thing that happened in the elevator? The DL6 incident, it had to have been, right? Right, I'm not sure, but the transfer probably had to do with his father's death. I would say. That's so sad. It is. It was several years later when I heard Edgeworth's name again. There was an article about him in the newspaper. The headline was something like, Dark Suspicions of a Demon Attorney. Really? Fabricating evidence, manipulating testimonies, covering up facts. The article said he'd do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. But why? What happened? I mean, that's not the edgy I used to know at all. 
That's what I thought too. I tried to get in touch with him. I don't know how many times. He never replied. I guess he didn't want to see his old friends. Maybe he was ashamed. I couldn't just drop it though. I wanted to meet him, to learn why he had become who he became. That's when I decided. Wait, you don't mean... That's why? That's why you became a defense attorney to meet Edgeworth? I knew there was something going on here. Man, I shipped these two to the end of time. And myself, with Edgeworth as well. <laughs> if I was a defense attorney, I knew he'd have to meet me whether he wanted to or not. Phoenix, holy crap. In court. Edgeworth believed in me and I believe in him. He's in pain and no one's on his side. I'm the only one who knows the real Edgeworth. I'm the only one who can help him. Oh my gosh, I might cry. This is so good. Whoa, Nick. So, so is that why you helped me out for free? Uh, yes. I helped you because I believed in you. Oh, Larry. Don't cry, buddy. He's so sweet. Oh, <laughs> I guess we didn't really do it for free. Whoops. Oh, Nick, Nick. Nick, we have to save Mr. Edgeworth if it's the last thing we do, okay? Right. It may be. Yeah, I'm worried about that, too. First, there's that rental boat shop caretaker. We need to find out who or what he is. Gosh, is he even gonna... He disappeared, didn't he? Do we even know where he is? I'd settle for who? I guess I can clean out some of this evidence I no longer need. What don't we need? Okay, let's go. Wait, did we actually? What happened? Oh, we... We... Did we? Did we get rid of anything? Alright, well, anyway... If he did, I don't know exactly what offhand we got rid of. Probably a couple of things. Hey, Charlie, how are you, buddy? Mia's favorite plant. His name is Charlie. Mia's gotten the neck of watering it lately. All right, he's okay. It's the same, really. I don't... We probably don't have to examine anything in here, right? Should we just go to the lake? I figured that's probably just what we have to do, right? All right, let's go. I wonder if they found the guy yet or not. We haven't heard about that. He disappeared after the trial was over. Hey, buddy. How's your face? Oh man, hey pal, long time no see. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. Close one today, eh? I got so worked up I snapped my tie in half. What? Good thing you have another. Uh, sorry about that. Ah, no prob, pal. Thanks to you, we now know who really did it. You mean the boat shop caretaker? Look, I'll make you a promise. I'll have that scoundrel in my custody by trial time tomorrow. You will? Come what may. It's my duty to you as a police officer. I'm sure you're so good. Now I'm off to catch me a criminal. Good luck, buddy. I hope he makes it. Detective Gumshoe sure is active today. Oh, one other thing. Ah. No one can go into the woods today. Why not? The woods? Where Lotta was camping? What happened? The woods are off limits to camping and apparently the park ranger found out. He got pretty mad. No one can go in for a while. I guess Lot is in a lot of trouble. Anyway, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Alright, so I guess we don't have to go there. Can we go to... Can we go to the shop? Is that what we need to do? We can go to the beach. Don't think you need to go to the woods to get there, but I can't remember. Anyone here? Huh? The steel eyesore is missing. Eyesore? Looks like the hot dog stand is closed too. I guess Larry's been too busy with the trial to show up for work. Well, I mean, he, is, he was with us a second ago. We, do we have to examine anything here? Probably not. All right, uh, can we, oh wait, we can. We just don't have the woods anymore. I guess they just took it out to, why? To save time or is that gonna be useful later, I wonder? He's not here, is he? There's no way. I'm sure Gumshoe already looked. That old caretaker got away. Yeah. I never imagined he might be the real murderer. Honestly, I didn't either until the end of that trial. Then it fucking- it just came to me. Holy crap. <coughs> Wh who's that? Who is that? Oh, no, no way. Is it Grossberg? Oh, buddy. No bra, I see, eh? It's alright, you'll eventually buy one. Uh, blah, 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 hello? What might you be doing here? Out for a walk, hmm? What are you doing here? You airing him out? I mean, it happens sometimes. You get sweat there, guys. You gotta air that stuff out. Ah, <laughs> oh, the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you see? It probably does not smell like no lemons out here, I gotta tell you that. Mr. Grossberg, this is no time for idle reminiscing. 
Mr. Edgeworth's trial ends tomorrow. Uh, that is true, yes. But from what I saw of today's trial, Edgeworth should be fine, right? Not if we can't catch that guy, and I also have another question. What about that safe in the boat rental shop? It just came to me now. Is that something we can do? What did you mean by that? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> if you find anything out, come by my office at once. I may be able to offer you some assistance. I see. Oh, that's why we had to meet him, so that you knew he was actually involved now. I guess we'll have to go back and talk to him? What do you think Mr. Grossberger is doing here, anyway? Do you think he was looking for the guy, too? It's weird. Alright, uh, is that it? Because, okay, can we go into the, sh the shop again? We can. We can go in. He's not in here, right? Is he going to, like, jump out at me? Hi, Birdie. Are you here by yourself? Is anyone feeding you? I guess he's not here. No one's home. Hello, hello, Brock. Hey, it's Polly. I wonder where your owner's gone, Polly. Hello, hello. I can't believe he'd run off and leave his poor parrot to fend for herself. Hello, hello, Brock. Darling, how are you? Can we examine stuff in here now? I mean, we already kind of did this safe. Like, is there a thing here? That reminds me, Nick. Polly here knows the number to the safe, right? She does! I, f I totally forgot. It slipped my mind. Can we open it now? Yeah, that's right. Polly, what's the number to the safe? 1228, bro! Let's open it, Nick. Come on. I mean, I guess if he actually is a murderer, then I don't care. We're gonna open it. I'm sure there isn't any money in there. Aw. But hey. He keeps it locked, right? So there must be something of value in there. I'm not so sure. Okay, Nick, let's see what's in there. Oh, I probably won't even be able to stop her. Well, surely there's gotta be something in there, right? The only thing in here is a letter. What does it say? Aw, oh, boring! Hmm, there's no name or signature on this thing. It's handwritten in very precise, clear letters. Like what? Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth? What? Edgeworth. Nick! Why would Mr. Edgeworth's name be on here? How should I know? I'm gonna read the whole thing. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. It also says this is your last chance. Now is your time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. What? The rest of the letter goes on to describe the murder plot in detail. How to kill Robert Hammond and frame Edge. Holy shit! Really? It can't be this easy. It can't be this easy. Because if we have this, that's the end of it, right? This is exactly what I figured out today in court. It's all here, in perfect detail. Holy shit! Wait, what? We had to just go here to find this? Well, this could end the whole thing. I don't know, but it looks like these are instructions for that caretaker. But by who? Oh, do we need to find out by who? When he killed Robert Hammond and called out Edgeworth, he was following instructions. But who could have written that letter? Is it... Are we really gonna meet someone we don't know yet? Really? And what does it mean to get revenge on Miles Edgeworth? It has to be the guy then, exactly what I said. The old guy has to be the same guy from the DL6 incident. Look, I don't know, okay? But one thing is for certain. This letter is an amazing clue. What do we do with it? Well, thank God we have it. Well, now what? Oh, I know. Oh, wait, hang on. Can we... Hang on. Can we... I didn't- I didn't notice when we went to move around. Was the detention center in the- in the place that we could go? Or should we go to Grossberg's office? Let's see. Uh, let's go to the entrance. I think the detention center was there? That's where I would go first and ask Edgeworth about it. Is that the right thing to do? You can go. Let's go. I might be wrong. Hi, buddy. You look beautiful today. <laughs> Cheer up. You alright? You look as grim as always. Phoenix, be nice to him. He's been through a lot. <laughs> um, Mr. Edgeworth, I heard the story about the class trial. Class trial? What do you mean? You... you don't remember? No, I don't. Your lunch money was stolen, wasn't it? In fourth grade. Lunch money? Oh, oh, right. Yeah, I seem to remember something like that. Nick, I think you're the only one who really remembers- Aw, oh, well it affected him so much, right? 
Exactly. Mr. Edgeworth, didn't you know? That trial was the reason Nick became a defense attorney. Uh, ridiculous. Gee, thanks. That said, it does sound like the kind of thing you'd do. You haven't changed a bit, have you, right? So simple. To a fault, even. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, maybe, yeah, but... I think you changed too much, Edgeworth. Maybe he did. But he went through a lot of things. It's hard not to change when you do. You're all right, darling. All right, well, can we talk to him about anything, or should we just give that to him? Honest, let's see. I mean, oh, well, let's talk about this while we can. Hey, Edgeworth, why did you become a prosecutor anyway? You used to look up to your dad. You said you wanted to be a defense attorney, right? I couldn't let myself deny reality like you. What do you mean? My father was taken from me, and you want me to defend criminals? I'm sorry, right, but I'm not that good of a person. Oh, I guess that makes sense. One suspect was apprehended in your father's murder, right? Yes, the man trapped in the elevator with my father. His name was Yanni Yogi. He had to be the shooter, any way you look at it. Yet, he was found innocent. That defense attorney got him off the hook. That would be Robert Hammond, right? On that day, 15 years ago? Oh, right, this again. The three of us were trapped in that elevator for five hours. When we were rescued, we all suffered oxygen deprivation. I had lost all memory of the murder. Lost your memory? Even now, I can't recall what happened in that elevator. That was the crux of Yogi's attorney's argument in court. He claimed Yanni Yogi had been not of sound mind due to the oxygen deprivation. Yogi was released due to a lack of evidence. Innocent. Oh no. That's terrible. That's when I changed my mind. I started to hate defense attorneys. I see. Poor guy. What's your relationship with Von Karma? He's my teacher, and a man who deserves respect. I learned everything I know of courtroom techniques from him. So, he's like my sister was to you, Nick. He is a perfectionist in all things. In court, in his personal life. Ew, I don't want to know about his personal life, please. He's obsessed with doing everything perfectly. Perfectly, huh? In all the cases he has taken on, none were left unsolved. And not one suspect was declared innocent ever. Man, you should have gotten his ass on the DL6 incident, but he's not a defense attorney, is he? So, I guess that couldn't be helped. Maybe he was on that, and that's how it won. I don't know. We just don't know enough. It's possible some of the suspects were indeed innocent. However, it's impossible for us to accurately determine that in every case. All Von Karma does is his job to find the suspect guilty perfectly. In any case, it's nigh well impossible to find a weakness in him. Should a weakness appear, he would do everything in his power to make it go away. I don't know, I feel like we found one, didn't we? When Larry's testimony was so haphazard, he kind of lost it there. I think that might be the, the key to it. Um, Edgeworth? If what you're saying is true, you're headed for a guilty sentence tomorrow. He's right. Now's not the time to praise the enemy, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> It's a strange situation in which I find myself, I'll admit. No kidding. Alright, should, should we do what I thought and give him- Oh wait, not this. I have to present. Um... It has to be. Either that or we give it to Grossbrick, but I'm gonna try it. Edgeworth, see this letter? Hmm? This came out of the safe in the shack where that boat rental caretaker lives. I see. Oh, he read it. Revenge. On me? Who is that old guy anyway? I... I don't know. Am I on the wrong track? Is it really not the same guy? Because I think it is. Could he be an innocent defendant and you got declared guilty or something? Nice, right. But I don't remember that old man. Not at all. So, he was following this letter then. Is he just a hired guy to do something? Did they con him into doing something? Which means there was someone else behind it. Now is your time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. Two men. Meaning myself and Robert Hammer. But it says ruined your life. Like, not ruined my life or anything like that. Or, are they tricking the old man into thinking he's somebody else? This is all so... It's all so confusing. It could be any of these things. It also says this is your last chance. Last chance? Well, maybe. Maybe he's talking about the statute of limitations on the DL6 incident. Well, he must be. Wait. Wait! That old man! What is it? 
Do you know who he is? Yogi. Could he be Yogi? That's what I'm saying. It seems a little too obvious, but maybe it is. I don't know. What do you guys think? The suspect in the DL6 incident. The one who was found innocent. Really? I mean, that's what I thought. But I, I, I also kind of recoiled because I thought maybe it was just too obvious. Yanni Yogi was a court bailiff at the time. We just happened to be in that elevator together 15 years ago. Right. Oh dear. Earthquakes are really scary. Have you guys ever been in an earthquake? They're awful. Thankfully, the ones in Japan, which I know this is probably trying to simulate, uh, they end really quickly usually, but they're still nasty. Oof. It's an awful feeling. Before I knew it, everything was dark. We were there for so long, it felt like forever. The air thinned, and the darkness closed in on us in that little box. That must have been terrifying. Holy shit, I would not like that. We became unsettled. My goodness. I don't like seeing this picture. It makes me upset. Help, I can't breathe. Quiet, I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. I want to get out. Help, get us out. Don't shout. You'll just use up more oxygen. Exactly. That's all I remember. When I came to, I was in a hospital bed staring up at the ceiling. Goodness me. In court, Yanni Yogi's mental condition was called into question. They claimed the oxygen deprivation and stress had caused temporary insanity. In the end, the claim passed the court and Yogi was found innocent. Huh. But isn't that strange? This letter tells him to get revenge on Edgeworth. Why would he want to take revenge on you? That That is a good question, right? Yeah? There's something that's been troubling me these last few days. I, I, I didn't know whether or not I should tell you. You mean the nightmare? Tell me about it. I want to help. It's a nightmare I've had. A memory of a crime that I committed. A crime you committed? A memory of a murder. What happened? I think... I think the time has come to tell all. Oh shit. Should we do this in the next one? Oh, that would kill you guys if I did it. Oh no. I, 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 I don't know how much longer this is, is the thing. Alright, let's- okay, at least I won't stop here. Let's find out. For the last 15 years, I've had the same dream almost every night. I wake up in a feel for sweat every time. That's terrible. What kind of dream? It's a dream about my father's killing in the dark. Right, right. Same thing here. Okay. Then what happens? I, I can't breathe. Breath. You you're using up my air. What? Stop breathing my air. I I'll stop you. Uh, what? What are you- Stop breathing my air. This is horrifying. He's attacking father. Then I see the pistol lying by my feet. I, I don't know if it was evidence from that day in court, or the bailiffs. In a daze, I pick up the pistol. Get away! Get away from my father! What happened? What? 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 And with that scream, I wake. It's a bone-chilling scream. A scream that has rung in my ears for the past 15 years. Oh my gosh. But, but, that's just a dream, right? Right? Maybe he doesn't know. That thought is the only thing that has kept me sane for the last 15 years. This poor man. He's been through so much. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's real? They say that sometimes people shut up memories in self-defense. Maybe it was I who killed my father. No, don't start thinking like that. You'll go nuts. It wasn't you, I'm sure. If you think about it that way, this letter makes sense. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Think about it. Yogi was really innocent. That's why he wanted revenge against me. Maybe someone set it up for you to think this. Wait, Edgeworth, you, you mean... It was me. I was a true criminal of DL6. I shot my father. This is bad. But he doesn't know for sure. 
What are we going to do, Nick? What can we do? I, I don't know. I don't think there's anything we can do, like it or not. If there's someone else who knows a lot about the DL6 incident, maybe. Grossberg, that's who we have to talk to. There is, Nick. There is someone else who knows a lot about DL6. Alright, bye, darling. You're right. Okay. Um... Jeez, should we just keep going? Uh, it's, uh, I don't know how much left we have is the thing. I don't want the next, like, evidence to be 15 minutes. This is so hard to know when you've never played it before. I'm sorry, guys, if it seems weird. Alright, let's, I mean, this is, this is good stuff. I want to keep going. Hey, babes. Hello there, what's wrong? You look troubled. No kidding. I can't believe you're not. My, my, my. Well, just calm down and tell me what's happening. It's Mr. Edgeworth. He... He... Uh... Are we gonna tell him everything? Hopefully we just did. I see. So Edgeworth dreamt he shot his own father. It's only a dream. Only a dream. Oh dear. I wonder. What? But if that's the case, then why do you two look so troubled, hmm? Well... Also, consider this. You know, he quite certainly holds a deep grudge against Miles Edgeworth. So deep he'd want to frame him for murder. This leads me to surmise that Mr. Edgeworth's dream was not a dream. It was real. As you imagined. What, really, though? Did it just fire by accident? That's terrible. Miles Edgeworth threw the pistol to save his father. The pistol fired, and the deed was done- Oh my gosh, how awful. That's terrible. No, I don't believe it. No, he was suspected of murder, and his career as a bailiff was irrevocably wrecked. Plus, he sought revenge on Miles Edgeworth. This was his last chance, of course, with the Statue of Limitation so close. I can't believe this. How did this happen? Tell me about his dad. What do you know about him? He was a defense attorney without peer. It sounds trite, but it's true. Well, you may have had one peer now that I think about it. Your mentor, Amir Faye. My sister. Gregory Edgeworth was very disproving of Mr. Von Karma's techniques. That's no surprise. Von Karma is an extreme man. Forged testimonies and evidence are nothing to him. The result, he has a perfect win record in court. To beat him, Gregory Edgeworth tried to call attention to his methods. And? He lost. And died in despair, as it were. I see. This is a horrible story! This is so sad! When Gregory Edgeworth was killed, the police called on a spirit medium. That was your mother, Misty Fay. I see. Oh no, we're gonna learn more about this. I am Gregory Edgeworth. I have been killed. The one who shot me was the bailiff, Yanni Yogi. Yet Yogi was found innocent. That's when my mother left us. Everyone called her a fraud. That's right. Everyone thought she was, you see. Yet, now that I think about it, it seems the one who lied was Gregory Edgeworth's ghost. Gregory Edgeworth must have known who shot him. Uh, I don't believe it. Oh, sorry. Oh my god, I'm sorry you guys, that was Phoenix. I'm so into reading this. So you're saying he falsified his testimony? That Edgeworth's dad lied to protect his son? It's only a possibility, mind you. But a possibility nonetheless. But we're talking about ghosts here. Can you really have any kind of possibility? Do we have to show him the letter? I bet you we do. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Why not? This will probably get him talking about something. Alright. Whoops. My fault. Alright, let's have it. Oh ho! So this is the letter. It does seem that Yogi was following this letter. But who wrote it? When he killed Hammond. Are we gonna find out? But why kill Robert Hammond? Hammond was a skilled defense attorney, but he defended clients not for their sake, but for his own. His own sake? He never trusted his clients, that one. The only thing he trusted was his own abilities. But he got his client found innocent, so why should it matter? Actually, my dear, it's quite different. He won that innocent verdict for no one but himself. Yogi was a free man, but socially he was ruined. Huh? You'll understand soon enough. What does that mean? Wait. <laughs> what is it? This letter. I've seen this handwriting somewhere before, a long time ago. Whose handwriting was this? Do you have any idea who wrote this? Um. Uh. 
It can't be this. But it can't... I don't... I'm gonna blame it on Dracula because that's all I got. Could it be Dracula? But karma? Why would he have something to do with this? Uh, well, I'm not sure, because I don't know, actually. Hmm? Von Karma, Von Karma. Wait! Brr, you're right, my but What? This is Von Karma's handwriting, I'm sure of it. I'm used to see it all the time in court, but- He wrote this? Well, I was just kidding. I just wanted to blame something on Dracula. The one who told Mr. Yogi to kill was- Correct. Manfred Von Karma himself- Why? What does this mean, then? What the fuck is happening? Why would Von Karma want to frame Edgeworth? Uh, um, what? I don't. What? Can we talk to you about this, please? Okay, good. Because I have nothing to present. <laughs> if it truly was Von Karma who wrote this letter, then he would know the truth. He would know that Miles Edgeworth had accidentally killed his own father. How would he know that? He'll stay as much tomorrow in court, I should think. He'll press the point brr, until the court finds Miles Edgeworth guilty. Oh, shit. How are we gonna get around this? But how could Von Karma know about Mr. Edgeworth's past like that? Even Mr. Edgeworth thought it was just a nightmare. Did he confide in him? That I do not know. Like, all the years they were, like, he was learning from him? Yet I do know that Von Karma is both persistent and a perfectionist, bro. He may be seeking to satisfy a grudge against Gregory Edgeworth by hurting his son. Oh, I see. That's terrible. Well, now I hate Dracula even more, and I didn't think it was possible, to be honest. It was 15 years ago. Von Karma met Gregory Edgeworth in court, and Von Karma did win. But he didn't make it through the trial unscarred. Really? Tell me about that. What happened in the trial between Edward's dad and Von Karma? Von Karma got the guilty verdict he wanted. Brr, he won the trial. But Gregory Edgeworth accused Von Karma of faulty evidence. And though he lost the trial, Mr. Eggsworth's accusation stood. Well, I mean, if he does do that, he deserves to get called out. It was the only penalty Von Karma's ever received in his career as a prosecutor. Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. I see. I guess a man like him would take that seriously. It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. A vacation? Yes, an unusual event for the man. That was the first and the last vacation he's taken in his many years of prosecution. Really? He doesn't take vacations? Dracula don't need to take no vacation. Where the hell would he go? Every place is too sunny. Don't tell me he's never been to Europe. You have strange ideas about vacations. What, Europe is beautiful? In any case, that was the only time he took a vacation from work. I believe the penalty upset him quite a lot. Odd. If he wanted to keep a perfect record so badly, why would he take such a long vacation? What do we do, Nick? Von Karma is gonna bring up DL6, you can bet on it. What if Mr. Edgeworth pleads guilty to DL6? I won't let him. Uh, br yes, Mr. Wright. I hate to say this, but even accidental murder is murder, you know. I know that. There must be something, though. I, I just believe in Edgeworth's innocence. I can't believe he kills someone. But Nick, Mr. Edgeworth admits it himself, but he doesn't know for sure. His father must have lied to protect him from beyond the grave. I'm not believing any of this. Edgeworth is innocent. I don't care. I know he's not guilty. Me too. I'm standing with you, Phoenix. Mr. Wright, if you say so, I suppose I could go check again. The police files might hold something of interest. Would you do that for us, buddy? I can't promise anything, bro. In fact, I think the chances of finding something are slim. I understand. Thanks for helping. Alright, now what? Is that it? Do we, there's nothing more to talk about. Do we go? Hmm. Where do we go to? One day left, Nick. Yeah, I know. Well, no time to waste. Let's get going. Where do we go? Uh, oh, I guess criminal affairs. See if you found anything. Hello, police. How are you? How's solitaire going? Good. There's hardly anyone here. Everyone must be out looking for the old guy. Ah, uh, it's you. I don't think Gumshoe will be coming back today. He's staying out late looking for someone. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe's pounding the pavement for real. Um, we were wondering if we could check out the records room again? Uh, well, no, I can't just have anyone wandering around in there. But I guess Mr. Von Karma's in there now, anyway. You can go in as long as he's there. Von Karma? Yes, he just arrived, actually. Uh-oh. 
Oh, I, oh, uh oh. Are we gonna have some kind of shootout? Some kind of fight? Come on, fisticuffs. Let's do it, Phoenix. I'm ready. I will punch him right in his Dracula face. Good, I'm ready for you. Where are you? Well, vampires do like old dusty things. That's probably why he's in here. We were only here yesterday. I'm sure they didn't have enough time to clean. Maybe it's the dust falling off on Karma. <laughs> Nothing. I was just noticing that he isn't here. Von Karma. What? He's not? Oh, but this is open. What's this? Hmm. Huh? One of the jars is open. Someone must have been looking at it recently. The label says unsolved cases evidence. Hmm. Unsolved cases? Nick! The Faffer Deal 6, it's completely empty. No way. Oh, come on. What are you doing in here? Oh my god. Oh no. Even. Oh, looking at you from the front. Way worse. <laughs> Von Karma. You. How do you know my name? What do you mean? Of course we know who you are. Huh? Have we met? What? What are you saying? We see each other every day, don't we? We're Miles Edgewell's defense team! Defense team? <clears throat> I beg your pardon, you see, I rarely remember defense attorneys. Oh my god, that smile, I don't like it! I don't like it! No! <gasps> they are like bugs to me, needless things to be crushed. I can see how this guy was Edgeworth's mentor. Oh, can we talk to him? Is he actually gonna talk to us about anything? Sorry this is going on so long. Uh, uh, Mr. Edgeworth was your student, right? A romanticist who could never shed that veneer of amateurism. Just like his father, always second rate. Mr. Von Karma? You had an axe to grind with Mr. Gregory Edgeworth, didn't you? Me? A grudge against a mere defense attorney? Why? Because he dealt a blow to your otherwise perfect trial record? Heh. <laughs> So you did, but what I don't get is, why did you take his son under your wing afterwards? The son of your most bitter rival. Yeah, why did you? That, my dear attorney, is none of your business. I think it is. Why does your face look so awful? I'm gonna see that in my nightmares. Tomorrow will be the last day of this trial. It's been a while since I've had a defense attorney last this long. Still, you will lose in the end. Miles Edgeworth will admit his own guilt. His guilt of 15 years ago, you mean? You're quite the researcher. If you've done your homework so well, then certainly you must understand. You know what Miles Edgeworth will tell the court tomorrow. We were right. So Von Karma is going to bring up DL6 in court. Well, what do we do? I have a weird... Is this gonna work? This is probably gonna get me in big trouble. But what else can we do but give him this? Did you give him this? Mr. Von Karma, have a look at this. This was you, wasn't it? You instructed Yanni Yogi to commit murder. Uh-oh. Yanni Yogi. How many years has it been since I've heard him called by that name? He's a fool. I told him to burn it after he read it. It was him! Holy shit! So you admit it! You... You wrote Mr. Yogi this letter! Yes, my dear defense attorney. Thank you for taking the trouble to bring it to me. No, don't take it! Uh-oh. You've saved me from a lot of needless hassle. What? Phoenix, don't let him have it! What the hell? What is going on? Oh, shit! Indeed. 600,000 volts will course through your body like a dog touching an electric fence. That would kill someone, wouldn't it? 600,000... Oh, don't worry. People don't die from it, usually. Now give me the letter. Don't do it! No! Whoa, what are you- Nick, run! Oh no, Maya! What? Oh shit! How could you have done this? Out of my way! Oh my god! What just happened? Oh, but- What? No! Are they all right? What? The letter! Did I do a bad with- Surely I had to show it to him. Oh no! What? 
Are we- we're alive? Is Maya all right? M maya Oh my gosh. This is crazy! Maya, open your eyes. Maya, you all right, darling? Maya? Oh dear. The letter. Did he take it? Huh? Yeah. Are you okay? I couldn't stop him. I had jumped as fast as I could, but one shot from that thing knocked me out cold. I'm useless. I'm no good as a lawyer or as a medium. I can't even call my sister. No, no, no. Don't worry about this. Not even now, when we need her the most. I wish I hadn't woken up at all. Maya, no, don't say that. Oh my gosh, this poor thing. Maya! There has to be some way I can help her. I better do something about her self-confidence first. What's wrong, Phoenix? She's holding something. What is that? A bullet? DL6 incident evidence number seven? Taken from the heart of Gregory Edgeworth? Where did she get that? I remember. Von Karma was holding this when Maya jumped him. Oh, shit! Is that gonna help us? Oh my god. I'll prove it to you, Maya. You're most definitely not useless. I'll prove it to you in court tomorrow. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this is so good. <gasps> this is so good! We're gonna have to wait till Monday for the trial. Holy moly. I can't believe how good this is, you guys! Oh my gosh, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching with me. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it so much. I'll see you on Monday for the trial. It's got to be the last one, right? We don't have any time left. Oh, I think it's going to be a long one. I'll see you for it. I'll need your help, so be there. Bye.